Well, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, and on this um, uh, video, we're going to concentrate on taking a look at the wheels and what I'm going to be doing with those um, and deciding on uh, whether I need to uh, re-spoke these. Um, so uh, let's take a look at the front wheel for a start. Um, what I'm first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take these um, and get the tyres taken off them because my intention is to um, uh, re-spoke all of these. Um, but before I do that, I need to get these tyres off, obviously. Um, this one, I'm definitely not, in fact, I'm not going to reuse either of these tyres. This one um, has got no kind of uh, marking on it to suggest how old it is which um, tells me that it's probably older than in the year 2000, so we're looking at 24 years old. Um, and although the side wheel's look in pretty good condition, um, <clears throat> if we look along the top, you can see down in here, it's all cracked uh, and starting to perish. Um, so we won't be using that one. Uh, the rear tyre, um, again, period correct tyre. Uh, we'll try and replicate this as close as we can. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just go for Avon Road Riders um, if I can still get them, but we'll see. Um, this one has got uh, a marking on it there. 2913, which I believe means that it was made um, during the 29th week of 2013. So um, that means that's what, 11, uh, 11 years old. So again, it almost looks brand new to be honest, this tire. There's, there's very, very little wear on it. You can still see the, the little nubs on it um, where it came out of the mold. So um, I do have some other wheels, not, not tires, but I do have some other wheels. These two are definitely in the best condition. Um, uh, as far as the rims go so i'll be using these um, the discs are um i haven't mic'd these i haven't put a micro on them to check them but there's a big lip on that one and an even bigger lip um on on that one so um i may have to source some new discs but what i'll do is i'll i'll check on the tolerances see whether they're in spec and take it from there but anyway first job to do is um get these in the back of the car uh, get them over to the tyre place and um, get these tyres off. Okay, we're back in the workshop and um, now we can see what we've got. Uh, first job to do is to get this disc off. Um, it's uh, only held on loosely um, at the moment. Um, I'm going to measure this with a micrometer, but I've got a feeling feeling that, that um, that's going to be below the minimum specification. So I may well be sourcing one of those, but uh, let's get on with it and get it off. Pretty sure these gold colored um, nuts aren't right. But uh, they're easily replaced. Oh, that's quite helpful. Minimum thickness, six millimetres, which is exactly what the book says. 
Um, but I say I'm pretty sure when I measure that it's going to be less than six. In fact, while it's off, let's have a look. It's an old imperial micrometer I've got here, but it does the job. Uh, point two. Point two two three point two 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 three which I think yeah minimum is point two three two six which is six mil Let me just double check that yeah point two three six two and that's point two 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 three yeah that's below the six mil minimum I'm afraid so looks like we're gonna have to source another one of those that's a shame mm. um, right moving on this I, I think I mentioned this before but this wheel has some um, well bulb holders uh, on it um, in fact some of them still got the, the lamps um, attached in them as well and they've been painted orange so at some point um uh this has obviously been wired up so as the bike's going along you get an orange glow um in the wheel uh well i can tell you right now that's coming off um so um i'm going to get those off can't imagine why anybody would have want to have done that to be honest but there again, maybe I'm just an old stick in the mud. Cut those off. Actually, thinking about it, why am I cutting these off? Because I'm thinking about replacing the spokes. So I'll probably end up just get my angle grinder and go through all the spokes on this. Uh, hmm. Might be worth me trying to clean it up first, see what the spokes look like. I'll do that first uh, before, I start, before I start attacking everything. So anyway, let's get these off. This wheel came from um, the US. He said he couldn't find uh, the chap I bought the bike. I said he couldn't find a decent wheel. Um, I have actually got another couple of wheels, but uh, they are in a lot worse condition than than these ones. So um, he sourced this from the from the US and. Um, there you go, there's one of the bulbs up. A little orange, orange bulb. Oh, it's been painted orange. Um, yeah, he, he sourced this wheel from the US. Um, and when I went to check the uh, the bearings out, um, which are all very good, by the way, I'm pretty sure they've been changed because the bearings would have had, um, they wouldn't have had these specific bearings in if I, you can't really see it but on here it says made in the USA um, and the bearings I think would have been uh, would have been different bearings though so these have been changed I think at some point they run nice and smooth there's no noticeable play in them so I think we've got away with those uh, which is a good thing all right let's see if we can get the rest of this lamp off so I say the plan with this really um, sorry before I go any further I know I'm jumping around a lot that this ring here you you meant to have a special tool for that fits in here to get that out to be able to get the the inner bearing out from in there but as i say um, i've checked these bearings they do seem absolutely fine so i'm leaving those as they are um we get um, some pliers and try and get those so off. i'll give it all a good soaking um see if we can get these spokes to come up at all and if we can all well and good if not then um we might need to look at respoking it spoke says aren't massively expensive even for um stainless steel ones um and if it's a relatively simple offset or there's no offset and i'll show you what i mean by that in a minute um respoking wheels is not um is actually not too difficult and can be done at home if you're careful um lots of people are quite scared of doing it i've done it a few times um and let's just set that bowl back before I break it. Not I'm worried about breaking it, I just don't want the glass going everywhere. Um, yeah, I've done it a few times. And it's um, it's not too bad a job. Generally, like I said, it just depends on the offset. 
of the wheel. Um, I don't want to get too far with um, how I clean this up. In other words, I don't want to get anything too abrasive because um, it's uh, still got the original DID sticker. This this room is made by um, DID, fitted as standard, um, and the original sticker is there, and also on the front one. So um, I don't really want to disturb that. It'd be a nice little feature to to keep, I think. Um, and again, I'm thinking this is probably anodized. Looking at it. Uh, but um, I think that looks in pretty good condition. The only way of really getting in there and cleaning it all out properly though is to take it all apart. Um, the um, so the bearings are fine. Um, this assembly here, uh, where obviously the, the splines of the final drive um, go into, um, that all looks absolutely fine. So I'm, I'm not going to disturb that. I don't see any point in disturbing that. Um, and if, it's, if it doesn't come very clean in there, I'm not too worried because obviously you can't see that. Um, the the rim tape um, actually it appears to be in very good condition. For what they cost, I'm probably going to replace it anyway. Um, in fact, it might even break when I take it off to if I if I do the spokes. But um, yeah, we'll we'll take that. Um, this is a tubed uh, a tubed rim. So it did have a tube in it. Um, when uh, the place I've taken it to, real motorcycles that you saw on the video, you saw earlier on the video, um, uh, this had was full of uh, like a green slime, which stops them from um, stops the tube from um, deflating if it gets uh, sort of tire from going down. Basically, if it gets a puncture, um, the green slime comes out and seals the seals the hole. Assuming the hole's not too big, um, used on um, push bikes a lot pedal bikes a lot um i don't like it personally particularly on motorbikes it i know it serves a purpose but um what it did on this one was it just bunged up the the valve he couldn't get the air out of it to get it off so we actually had to drill a hole in the tire big hole in the tire to get it to deflate and then take it off okay let's get these discs off the front wheel we've actually done these ones up that looks right Something in there. Or is that spinning on the other side? So go all the way through. Ah. Okay. So while I'm trying to undo that, there's a nut on the other side, a bolt on the other side spinning. So I need to hold it. So it's looking like um, these have got long bolts that go all the way through, hold both discs on at the same time. So, uh, okay. Let me get another 13 mil spanner and I'll sort that out. All right, I shall carry on getting all these out. Oops. And then we'll come back. Right, that's all the bolts out. I'll just lift off and hopefully, yeah, so this one says, uh, yeah, so minimum thickness on that one is, um, get the right bit, where are we? There you go, five millimeters. So let's have a measure of that one. When we've got the other so one So basically, to get this apart, um, this whole part here is one big nut, um, which makes sense because you can see a thread in there. And um, that thread basically belongs to the axle, which is going all the way through. So what we need to do is undo that and then pull the axle out from um, this left-hand side. And then we'll be able to get all this uh, assembly off here. So um, in order to aid that, there is a flat on here so we can hold this with a, a spanner or the like um, on there and then we can get uh, get this nut undone. All right, so we've got a 17, uh, 17 mil slot on that side and 22 on here. Oh, there we go. That's that part. And then our axle is going to slide all the way out, which it does. And then presumably, this assembly all comes off. Yep. Yeah. Oh, followed by mm, axle looks fine. The disc. No obvious ridges in that little bit of discoloration, but nothing major. Uh, 
just drop that through. No obvious movement in the bearings. No noises. All sounds nice and smooth. So, as I said, I suspect these bearings have been changed at some point in the future. There is a little space on the other side of that wood. Just need to be a little bit careful of as well. So, I'm going. In fact, I'm going to put that back on the axle. Along with that, you can see so it's got it the original uh, DID sticker just there, um, which I want to preserve. Um, this wheel is probably in slightly better condition than the um, the rear wheel. But again, whether these spokes will clean up enough that I'm going to be happy with them, don't know. Um, I suppose there's always an argument for, rather than having to replace them, as they're not too badly corroded, is to remove them all and um, clean them up on the buffing wheel. Might do that, might do that. And then possibly, um, I presume they were probably zinc plated, but they might just clean up. Anyway, uh, I think that's gonna be for uh, another episode. Um, oh, one thing I was gonna say was, right, offset, I mentioned to you, didn't I? The thing to do is to um, measure the offset before you take all the spokes out so that when you come to re-spoke it um, you know that you're going to get it um, spot on so um, the way to do that is uh, let me move some of this stuff out of the way so if we laid that down on say this side it's a nice flat surface there like so and then move it over a bit what you would do is making sure it's on a flat surface is measure the distance let me go a ruler right so what you do is you measure the distance from uh, your surface to the rim so the bottom of that rim is at 18 centimeters sorry 18 millimeters and the top is at about 82 uh, millimeters so what i would do now <clears throat> is i would turn this around i'm, I'm not going to do it i wouldn't do it on here i would do it on a i've got a marble um sheet which i know is perfectly flat so i'll do it on there instead uh, but just i'm just showing you the idea so basically that's what you do you measure it all the way around they'll give you an idea of how true or not the wheel is as well of course <clears throat> and then um, when you've done that obviously if you turn this over and you tried it on that side you're going to get an entirely different reading yeah that's 30 and 95 if you measure it like that um, so you've got to remember which side you you did it but basically when it comes to lacing this wheel back up what you would do is you would start off putting your spokes in um, and then you'd pull it up but you'd, you'd leave them all relatively loose and you'd pull it up on one side until you've got that same measurement um, and you just sort of work your way around <clears throat> and then you can tighten them all up and then what you do basically is you then go around and you tighten them all up in in, in order to get them the right tension <clears throat> but um, uh, if I end up doing that I'll, I'll show you that in another video anyway so anyway I'm rambling on again um, that's it for this video i will go and get these cleaned up as best i can it's minus four outside at the moment so i don't really fancy standing outside and doing it so it might be a few days before i get around to that because i think it's meant to be getting a bit warmer but um yep yeah, that'll be uh i'll pr probably show you the wheels in the next video and see see where i've got to and what i'm going to do with them uh but hopefully before long we'll be moving on to um the engine and we're going to be starting to look at that but uh, yeah that's it for this video so um Thank you very much for watching. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next video.